Good morning. I hope you can hear me. It's Lynn here from the Learn English Network and it's live chat. It's Monday. Of course, last week there was no live chat. It was May Day, May Day, May Day. Uh, and I was busy having fun. Uh, but today we're back <laughs> with a vengeance. So I hope you can hear me. Hello, April. Hello, Shiny. Number two. <laughs> number three. Are you not counting me again? You're number three. I'm not sure what you mean by start again. Uh, two, two, two. Hmm. One, 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 then two, two, two. Not sure what's going on there. Uh, my, yep, my microphone is definitely working. So. You missed the opening speech. Oh, it was only me going blah, blah. Don't worry. <laughs> Watch the replay. <laughs> okay. So yes, we're starting on time in live chat um, because we've got a lot to do. Okay. So it's okay. You can hear me now. Good, good, good. Okay. Um, shiny, me neither, April. So I missed the opening speech. Me too, April. Sorry, because you're agreeing with... April, she missed it. You missed it too. I didn't miss it. I didn't miss it either. Me neither. Uh, there is always lag. There's always a few seconds lag in these sessions when you're in the attendee room. But don't worry. We have plenty of time. No, we don't. Let's move on. <laughs> so I hope you can see the live chat page. And actually this morning there was a little discussion, but it was about politics. So let's skip past that. <laughs> Can't ignore politics at the moment. There's so much going on in the world of politics. I worry that all the young people today will think, wow, politics, it's really popular. I think I'll be a politician. <laughs> Don't do it. Okay, so we're going to look at um, Zom to Muna. Okay, so because Muna did her first news roundup recording on the network, I don't know if you've heard it, but do go along. And she did a fantastic job, but there was a little bit of uh, an issue on the way Patrick opens or starts his um, writing. Patrick is the guy who writes the news roundup, if you didn't know. Uh, he's the author. And it's his style that the first word in the news roundup articles is capitalized, the whole word. Okay, that's just, it's not something you do normally unless you're writing for a magazine. The English magazine is an online magazine. Um, or if you're writing for newspapers, some newspapers do it. It's style. So what happened was this particular um, article started with it, but Muna read it as IT. Okay, now that is something you have to just go by feel what comes after it. Okay, so let's have a look at the article. And if you see, it seems now it could be IT seems, but then it's got that IT seems that more and more Brits are receiving parking fines. So you have to let your brain kick in. I think that makes no sense. It must be it seems and I've I've left it large. Sometimes I go in and correct it not correct it, but change it. But I left it because we'd had this discussion on um, live chat about this particular issue. Okay. And um, interestingly, Muna read it the first time with it and then lost her confidence and changed it to IT. So that's a shame, Muna. Go with your gut feeling sometimes. It's often more correct than your brain. <laughs> Our brains overthink things. Case in point, why do we talk about why are headaches countable on the forum? There's a discussion going on about why are headaches countable? It's a great question, but they are. I've got a headache. A uh, article, it's accountable. Okay. Why? I don't know. Somebody decided they got a lot of, a lot of headaches. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so um, we also had a conversation by Zaki after how long can I learn English as my own language? And I, my reply was my usual one. How long is a piece of string? By the way, you owe me a dollar. Now that's because a long time, a long time ago, I said, if I had a dollar for every time somebody asks this question, I'd be very, very rich. So if you've ever asked me that question, send me the dollar or a euro or a pound, I'm not fussy. Um, okay. Answer the question by another question. I really dislike this policy and I owe you a dollar. What do you mean? Zaki, I mean, you need to get a sense of humor. <laughs> I also replied, I'll take euros. And I put him onto the fax page when I first said this. Um, Zom said, personally, I love, personally, you need two L's, one N, Zom. I love get rid of it, answering a question with another question. We even made it a game on the forum. If Lynn, AKA your teacher had received $1 every time someone asked her this same question, she would be a billionaire. Um, of course, said Zaki. Actually, this is a kind of fudging. Okay, this is fudging. If you can say this is fudging, you know, your English is doing all right, Zaki. And um, I actually misspelled something here. So let me just before April spots it for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Zaki, I wasn't expecting such an answer. A solution for fast learning. Well, there are loads of tips. Look, if you go up here, improve. Loads of tips on how to improve your learning, how to speed it up a bit. Generally, you speed it up by putting more time aside for doing it. Do, do, do. Read listen, but most importantly, write and speak. It's not rocket science. And it, I can't tell you how long it will take you because I don't know you. And therefore you need to get involved with what we do. Um, and then we'll see. And I'll tell you whether you're making progress or not. Most people here make progress, even if they don't think they are making progress. They are, they just don't believe it. They have issues of, everybody's got different issues. Uh, some people are more confident. They think their English is fantastic when it isn't. Other people are less confident. They think their English is terrible when it isn't. So, you know, it's about the individual. There's no formula. And as, uh, as um said, there are YouTube videos that say stuff like learn English in seven days, but I think they're cunning. Actually, I think they're conning you. <laughs> Maybe they're being cunning. They want clicks. They want people to watch them. Sometimes they give a bit of good advice. It's normally be active, be active, be active. Do, don't just consume. But Zaki, it's up to you. If you don't like my sense of humor, probably you better keep away from the network. <laughs> Okay, any questions? Hello, Reem. Nice to see you. Hi, <laughs> Reem's calling me Linny. I like it. <laughs> What's your name? My name's Linny. Okay, Lynn is always impatient to start talking. Absolutely, April. Um, so, which one is better? Which one is what better, April? Uh, which one is better? I didn't know that, did you, Shiny? Shiny probably doesn't know what you didn't know. So when, when you're chatting in um, the chat area, in the attendees area, try, try and make it clear. <laughs> what two options? <laughs> the two options. <laughs> okay, so, um, and Zom did a great job actually talking with Zaki. And Zaki's got it doing exactly. Um, and I replied with my favorite Star Wars, do or do not, there is no try. <laughs> okay, so have fun. That's one of the main things. You're going to be learning English for a long time, forever. I'm still learning English. New words come out every year. Uh, so make sure you enjoy it. Okay. If you don't enjoy it, you'll probably stop doing it. And then in a few years time, you'll think, oh, gosh, if I'd only carried on, I'd have be, I'd be so much better now. Now I need it for my job or my course or uh, to apply for a visa or something. 
just keep doing it, but have fun doing it and don't take it too seriously. Okay. Um, you can take it seriously and plow money into it. Find yourself some private lessons or group lessons that you pay for. It will help if they're good lessons. Okay. If you get good teachers, they can do wonders for your English. Really, absolutely good teachers. Not all teachers are good. Uh, some people might say I'm not very good, uh, but you know, I'm free. So what the heck? Okay. And on that note, let's go to the free vocabulary challenge. This week, we're not going to look at last week's. We're going to look at the week before's. Um, last week, only one person had a go. So well done, April, for that. I hope you've seen the answers. If you have any questions about it, ask me. Uh, but it doesn't really lend itself to a session like this. Whereas the week before's was much simpler. I think people will get more out of it and we can discuss a couple of issues that cropped up. What was the new word in two? There were lots of new words in 2016, April. A quick Google will show you. <laughs> okay, so the week before, um, let's see who we're going to invite in. Sha so April, if you want to come and talk, put your hand up. Uh, I don't think Moon is able to make this time, sadly. And Monique definitely is still asleep. So sleep soundly, Monique. Shh, don't wake her up, everybody. <laughs> and don't forget to take part in this session in the call. Sorry about the noise. My printer's just decided to wake up. Very strange. Okay. Uh, but in the, if you want to take part in the call on this session, you have to have been interacting on live chat or in the vocabulary challenge. So if you haven't done that, it's a kind of case you're going to have to just listen, ask questions here in the chat window. Okay. So I'm waiting for April to join me, but let's just go through the answers for last, uh, for at the end of April's um, vocabulary challenge. I think it was vocabulary challenge 60. If I'm, yes, vocabulary challenge 60. Let's have a look at the answers. And there were two parts to it. The first part was sort of domestic furniture. And the second part was around the telephone. Okay, so if you notice, one to eight, it's all about furniture and some electronic devices, a, an electronic device. And the second half was all about the telephone. And the telephone was kind of interesting, <laughs> but we'll come to that in a moment. April, hello, good morning. Can I hear you? Can you hear me? Hi, Lynn. It Hi, was a I'm... long way to come. <laughs> Oh, why? Which way did you come? Was well, it a nice well, view? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some uh, deviation. I don't know. But I got a message. Uh, Google Chrome does, uh, doesn't react or something like that. Doesn't work. So it took a long time before I got the possibility to, to check my, to test my my audio. Oh, right. Okay. Google Chrome isn't working. I was, I've been getting quite a few or snap messages from Google this weekend. I've been doing a lot of work, so maybe I was pushing it, but it just kept going, oh, snap. <laughs> and then I'd have to kind of refresh. Uh, well, hopefully nothing will happen now you're here. Um, and it will just work. So I don't know if that's a webinar jam issue or if it's a Chrome issue. Strange. Or maybe the connection, I don't know. But um, I wanted to clear the quotes that I did. And uh, I'm very glad because I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> First, uh, I, I have written, what was it? Uh, that, uh, please start again because we missed your opening speech. And I wrote, uh, Lynn is always impatient <laughs> to uh, start talking because you don't, you don't wait until a, a couple of seconds because you know we can't, we can't hear you. Oh, I in, do. 
I do wait. You have to wait. I do wait. Obviously longer. not long enough, but yeah, the problem no, is... Yeah, no, it's <laughs> Okay, let, let me put it this way. It's always the same. Hello, Lynn here from the Learn English Network. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, because it does start recording straight away, and that means that in YouTube, when if somebody were to visit YouTube and click on play, they'd just get... Nothing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So just take my word for it that I won't say anything particularly interesting right right at the beginning. Or if I do, it'll be for a joke. Yeah, maybe I should say something really interesting at the beginning every time. And you're like, I've missed it. <laughs> okay, and then your next... Uh-huh. Um, Which one was it? Because I, I lost my... You said, oh, I didn't know that, did you, Shiny? And I'm uh, like, yeah, it you know was what? about the headache. I didn't ah, know that yeah. I was accountable. Yeah. So I, ne- I always say I have headache. <laughs> so it's just not right then. It's not correct. I it's have not. a headache. Let me use, I have a headache. Ah, yes. Okay. And yeah, that's why I, I asked. And the doctor would then I, say, how often do you get headaches or how many headaches do you get a week? Um, but it's always with the article. Uh, it's like aches and pains. I did mention that in the forum. Yeah, we talk about aches and pains. So even, you know, I have a pain in my shoulder. Um, I have pain in my shoulder as well. So that one can be countable or uncountable. But an ache, a headache, uh, an aching back. You know, I've often got an aching back. So And the aches can be all over your body. It doesn't have to be a headache, but an ache. Okay. Uh, okay. I will try to remember that. And then... Which one is better, the two options? <laughs> ah, yeah. You said, <laughs> you said that about the progression of, uh, of the language. Uh, somebody... Wo- uh, so, uh, some people um, think that they don't uh, make a, uh, imp- the improvement. They don't make improvement, but they did. And the others uh, think that they make a lot of improvement, but they did. <laughs> so no, I no, no, no. <laughs> it's not about improvement. It's about uh, actual ability. I mean, I have met people who go, my English very good. <laughs> and I'm like, wow. yeah, all right. Maybe, maybe it's not as good as you think it is. <laughs> But that's me being mean. But then other times I meet people and they say something like, I really need to improve my English because I have a test next week. And it's a perfect sentence. And I think, well, you're doing all right. I wouldn't worry too much. But I'm the same in German, by the way. I did my, um, just a, I have my exam coming up. And um, I might, it might mean I'm disappearing quite a bit this year in order to, because I'm just panicked about it. I, I booked it and I got sweaty palms. <laughs> and oh. I'm thinking about it now and I've got sweaty palms. And, you know, hubby was going, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. So he made me sit down and take a mock exam online, a mock test. And I was fine. Couldn't do the speaking part because he refused to talk to me about somebody's in hospital and you need to visit them. <laughs> so I'm not doing that. <laughs> so I'll have to find a German teacher to do that part with me. But uh, uh, you will be fine, Liz. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, April. That's exactly what he was saying. He says, Your German is plenty. But I'm not confident. You know, I just hate tests and exams, of course. And other people are the same. They think their language. French, German, Italian, Chinese, Japanese, it doesn't matter. They think it's worse than it actually is. And that's the majority of people. But there's always a few who think they're perfect, never make a mistake, because they don't they don't listen to what other people tell them. <laughs> and we have all sorts in the network, you know, it's fine. But Zaki was with his um, you know, how long will it take me to learn English? I mean, come on, Zaki. <laughs> the rest of your life. That's not what you wanted to hear, but it's the truth. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Zaki. I know. <laughs> I'm the proof. don't want to hear the truth. <laughs> I'm the living proof. <laughs> ah, but you're the living proof of somebody who thinks that English is worse than it is because <laughs> everybody else listens to you and they all think, wow, I wish I could speak like that. Wow, I wish I could... Um, you know, sort of uh, create and talk and have a conversation so easily. They think it comes easily, you know. So you are, I don't know which one is better. Being confident is good. 
being overconfident can get you into trouble sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I can jump that gap. <laughs> okay, so um, just very quickly, I know that last week's challenge was a challenge. It will be easier this week, okay? But sometimes I like to throw in something that's really going to push you, that's really going to make you look at it and think, OMG, <laughs> I don't know any of that vocabulary. Sometimes people say to me, I don't know the words in my own language, never mind English. <laughs> yeah, I got a few messages last week going, Lynn, I can't do this one. It doesn't matter. Oh, for the, okay? for the last week, uh, yes. the one from, uh, it doesn't. Uh, it didn't bother you? You were the only person to take it, April. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you said that. Uh, and uh, you said that you won't do the this, that challenge this Not week? Not today, but no. I, We're going to do the okay. week before. Because but you are people, going, okay. Yeah, yeah. More people took part in it. What we'll do with the physiotherapy one, um, we'll put it in, I will put it into a um, Kitely session. I think it lends itself well to actually having the human form in front of you and to talk about, you know, the different... Um, physiotherapy, physiotherapies that are available actually, because there are several, uh, and then to talk about it in a virtual environment where we can actually point at, you know, um, massage and manipulation and maybe even have one of those sling beds, which you didn't know what it was. You've never been on the sling bed? They're lovely. They put your legs in a sort of sling and they hang there and it's wonderful. I hate gravity. Ah, uh, it's a sling. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. couldn't find that word. Uh, I thought that it was, uh, uh, it could be also uh, something that if you broke your arm, for example, uh, you have to put it in a plaster and you have to put it high in bed and you have to put that your arm You'll have to put your arm in that, that kind of uh, straps. Sling. I call it straps, but you call yeah, it the sling. straps suspend the sling. So the straps are there, and they're uh -huh. adjustable straps. But the sling is the thing that gives support. So, like you put your arm in a sling, yeah, when it, yeah. when it's wrapped around your neck, we call that a sling. But these are oh, called uh, mitella. Yeah. We call it mitella. You call it also mitella. Ah, yeah, no. but isn't is it uh, an uh, I've never heard it called uh, Mitella. Mitella? Never. never heard oh. it, so it oh. might be an internal... Um, it might the be name an... of the of that uh, sling, maybe. The yes, it might be factory. a sort of... Um, what was I going to say? It might be a company or, you yeah, know, the name yeah. of a product. The name of a product. <laughs> but, yeah, the... Um, Mitella, M I T E double -L, L A. No, never heard of it. Never heard of it. But then again, within a profession, that's what I would call jargon. So if somebody said to me, put her arm in a sling, I'd know exactly what to do. Uh, but if somebody said to me, put her arm in a Mitella, I'd be like, a what? And they'd go, <laughs> oh, you're not a professional, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, Shiny, are you okay? Your internet was disconnected. Why, oh. why thank God, Shiny? So you didn't hear my... I think she was, thank God I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I think she was, thank God I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back, Shiny. Welcome back, Shiny. So let's go to the um, vocabulary from Vocabulary Challenge 60. Okay. And we started off with a bookcase or plural bookcases. Okay, remember, singular with the article, plural, no article, but we add an S most of the time, okay? Now, Muna put shelves, Goka put bookcase, Arzulita put bookcase, Monique put bookcase, and April decided it was bookcases. Now, was it bookcases, April? Think about what you saw in the picture. Uh, there, uh, there were two. There are two bookcases. Uh -huh. I see. Okay. <laughs> I was just checking. <laughs> so I put, uh, and the S there is to show it can be plural or it can be singular. That's the main thing. Um, when you're looking at the pictures in the vocabulary challenge, you can 
just say what's there. Okay. Um, but you can also think about the other ways of expressing that particular item. Does it take an article or not? What is it when it's in the plural or not? And so I would say, you know, try and think about it, but also think about um, the things around it. Okay. And oh, bear with me a second. There we go. Bookcases is exactly true. Now, but it's one bookcase. So that's, um, yeah, that's a bit of an issue for me. There's one bookcase, but it's in two parts. So I would say shelves, they're in the bookcase, by the way, Muna. The shelves were in the bookcase. The piece of furniture is a bookcase. But yes, you could say there's two bookcases because there's two sets of shelves. So it's a good one. I liked that one. <laughs> okay, next one was, I think, easy. And of course, it took an, an armchair. Armchairs. Now, um, Muna, Goka, everybody got this one right. Okay. Um, you put a single armchair. <laughs> Yeah, so you get away it's with putting one person. We call it always a single. Really? No? Okay. A well, an armchair. Chair, you have double armchair. Chair. No. Um, an armchair is an armchair. It's for one person or two people to cuddle on. <laughs> 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 so we wouldn't say a single armchair. I thought maybe it was because you'd seen two bookcases. So you're going, and, but then you didn't get, do a single this or a single that the rest of the time. So, <laughs> so, so armchair, armchair is only for one person, Lynn. Yes. And if, we, if uh, it is for two person, what do you call that? The sofa then? That's it. Yeah. Then it would be number eight. And we'd say it, we say a two person sofa or a two person city or a two person couch, three person, three seater sofa as well, two seater sofa. So sometimes you'll see if you go around a furniture shop. Oh, and by the way, if you're in England, I do recommend you to go to the big furniture stores. Okay. You'll find so many different words for the things you know, you think you know the meaning of. It's quite incredible how many different types of chair there can be, how many different kinds of bed there can be. It's amazing. <laughs> but yeah, an armchair, if you say to me armchair, April, I think of a single chair. Okay. In fact, if you just ask Google, okay, so we'll go to Google Images and um, I'll make sure that Safe Search is on. And then armchair. Okay. Oh, okay. I spelt it, but Google's clever. It knew what I meant. You see, they're all armchairs just for one person. Okay. Okay. And that's general. Okay. That's general. Now, if, I guess some clever designer might develop a two person armchair, but they're cheating if they do. It's just an armchair. <laughs> It's been turned into a sofa. <laughs> okay. So the next one, of course, is a bed. Now, beds are great because, again, we have so many different kinds of bed. Okay. So if you want to develop some extra vocabulary, again, go to Google Images. Okay. And then just search for bed. Okay. And you will find bunk beds, children beds, single beds, double beds, king size beds, queen size beds, <laughs> divan beds, futons. <laughs> so again, this introduces you to a bed. But when you're doing the vocabulary challenge, think what kind of bed? Can you remember what kind of bed it was, April? I don't know. Uh, I have was to it speak a to single that. bed or a double bed? <laughs> a single bed. <laughs> it was. It was a single bed. So maybe a child's bed. Yeah. And it had storage. Oh, and you, in the you can say single bed. You can say yes, single as bed. Monique correctly did. Us, again, uh, but single bed. For one person, we call it a single bed. Okay. 
But you can also say a, a one person bet. No. Why not? It's for one person. <laughs> <laughs> Because you'd sound strange. People would understand what you meant. But if you went into a furniture shop, do try it next time you're in England, April. Go to uh, DFS or somewhere like that and walk in and say, I'm looking for a one person bed. <laughs> and they'll go, Okay, you're not from round here, are you? <laughs> yeah, they will say, You see, uh, it's a migrant. <laughs> migrant. <laughs> migrant. Migrant, yeah. Um, no, it's, it's a single bed. Uh, there's even a song, and all I've got is a single bed. There ain't no room for your sweet head. So it's a single bed. Trust me. People will understand. It's, you know, communication. It's not wrong, but it's not what people say. Okay. And people have to, th if you say that, people have to think about it. What does she mean? Oh, a single bed. If you say a single bed, people get it straight away. Conversation moves on. It flows more quickly. Okay. Okay, so the next one, it's just a bedside table, but um, people said, um, Goka, you didn't know, that's fine. Don't forget, Goka, it's not a test. You can look it up in the dictionary. <laughs> you can translate. It's, it's, oh, look what other people have written, okay? Um, uh, and Monique put a wheeled side table. <laughs> it's still a side table, okay? And then oh, you have the wheels. <laughs> I loved it. Again. I oh, found it in Google. It. <laughs> Google said that. Yeah, absolutely. But all of the above. And it would depend where you put it. Is it a bedside table? It's only a bedside table if you put it by your bed. Oh, I, I won't do that. On, uh, no, no. I have one with, uh, with uh, the drawers. Uh, near my bed, but if yeah. I have this, uh, if I have the this shelf unit on wheels, I could uh, put it in the living in the living room. In the yes, living room. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. newspaper. Yep. Then it would become a newspaper, um, a newspaper container or a newspaper holder. It form and function. Where, which room do you put it in? Kind of dis. Um, kind of describes what function it has. So it's it's almost a shelving unit, yeah, but it's a single shelf. And you could have it in the living room, you could have it in the hall. So it could be a telephone table, but well done for the wheeled bit. Yeah, a wheeled shelving unit, a wheeled bedside table, um, or a shelf unit on wheels. All of those are correct, okay? Actually, I wasn't so sure about shelf because for me, shelf is just uh, that uh, uh, that board, that uh, that uh, wood, that uh, horizontal wood. That yeah, is the you shelf. could say a cube then. A lot cube, of time, yeah, that's yeah, right. a prefer... lot of times these things are called cubes. I've got some yeah. actually, but they're cu and it's funny because you know you've got a cube, and you put another cube on top of that cube, you've got a shelf. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the shelf, that shelf is uh, cubicle, or how do you say it? Cubicle. No, I wouldn't say cubicle no? because a cubicle, no, no it's a cube. Uh, if you say cubicle, you're into um, places where you go to change, changing room, or maybe in hospital when they pull the, sh pull the curtains around you. Yeah, that's more of a cubicle, okay? Huh? <laughs> in, a, in the hospital, in the room. <laughs> okay, here are some cubes. Okay, uh, they are cubes. They are cubes. Yeah. Okay, but they're also shelves. And if you put that one on top of that one, you've got an extra shelf. So don't worry about it too much. I would have accepted any of those, and I, it was really good to see a different a range of different answers as well. But the, I think these are very similar to the ones we've got there. They're modular, okay? And they're more modular than the one in the picture because there are no wheels. But these are the ones we've got. And you could, they're really good. You can just sort of put anything in there. I've got all my grammar books in mine. 
and I can add to it as I buy more grammar books, <laughs> more German books, uh, more English books. <laughs> okay. So again, form and function. What room is it in can kind of decide um, what you call it. And also, what do you use it for? What do you put in it? Can It could become a book cube. <laughs> a cube for books. Um, it could be for, I don't know, I'm trying desperately to think, maybe you could put your whimsies on it, then it would just become a display cube, yeah, as a little display cabinet, okay? So form and function changes what you can call it, what you might call it. Okay, the next one, we had, we've had this one before, the place we put our clothes into we call it a wardrobe in the UK and a closet in America. However, if you have a walk-in wardrobe or a walk-in closet, that's a room, okay? But this was a piece of furniture. It was a standalone wardrobe that you can get from Ikea, okay? And uh, uh, talking about the function, if the doors are uh, sliding doors, do you have to call it differently? No, nope, still a wardrobe, but it's a wardrobe with sliding doors. In fact, our wardrobe upstairs in our bedroom has sliding doors. I okay. have one too, yeah. Yeah, they're great because you don't end up walking into the wall. Well, I've got a husband who doesn't close doors. And so sliding doors are brilliant because if, if he leaves the sliding doors open, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to walk into them. <laughs> okay, but the, the, the main difference here is closet in America, wardrobe in Britain. Okay, then we got the television. I think everybody got wardrobe, which is great because it shows you're all learning British English. Yay! <laughs> Monique remembered our session on closets and wardrobes and you went for the British one. Well done, April. <laughs> okay, then we got the television, but obviously it's also often short form TV, capital T, capital V. Okay. And we've got a couple of slang words there that uh, you often hear from people. They call it the goggle box because people goggle at it and the idiot box because it turns people into idiots. <laughs> Have you ever heard of either of those? Idiot box? Idiot, idiot box. Oh, idiot, wow. as in stupid. As in huh? stupid person, yeah? You never heard it called an idiot box? No. Uh, I become uh, more smarter. Uh, I become smarter than... Uh, if I watch TV, I think. Can you still hear me? I don't hear uh, uh, Yes, yeah, sorry. Oh, I okay. I'd muted my mic whilst you were talking. Yeah, we call it an idiot box. Shiny, have you ever heard it called the idiot box? Uh, now, Muna put TV screen, but it was the whole item. So again, yes, you could say TV screen, but you'd have to be just looking at the screen. Okay. Whereas we've got the whole TV in the picture. Okay. Uh, monitor from GoCut, no. The monitor would only, it's only a monitor when it's attached to your computer or to some other electrical device. So like a monitor in a hospital, a hospital monitor, okay? Uh, and the word monitor comes from hospitals because it would monitor your heartbeat or monitor your blood pressure, yeah? And so on a computer, a monitor, but there was no computer there, so it's just a TV, Okay. All those nowadays, quite often, um, TVs and monitors play the same role. They've got the same electronics. You can use your television as a monitor. <laughs> but in this case, I'd accept TV. Okay. Then um, Monique's put smart TV. Absolutely. What kind of TV nowadays? Flat screen TV, old fashioned TV, uh, LED TV, plasma TV, <laughs> so many form and function again. Okay, the next one was footstool. I think everybody got that. 
who knew what it was. Um, I don't know if you use a footstool, but it's literally a little stool to put your feet on. It goes in front of your armchair or in front of your sofa and you just rest your feet on it. And sometimes um, people might sit on the footstool if there's no other seat available. Okay, that's where the word seat comes from. Uh, an armchair has a seat, a footstool has a seat, a sofa has two or three seats, the places where people sit, okay, the seating. Okay, but a footstool is generally for your feet to go on. Have you got a footstool at home, April? Uh, no, I only use uh, my chair to put my to put my feet in. you put your feet on the furniture oh no <laughs> if nobody's there <laughs> ah, okay yeah. that's all right well people don't see well everybody knows now though they know you're a slob <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness it's life <laughs> okay shiny has two foot stools okay you got two feet that seems sensible <laughs> i have a foot stool but it's also a, a poof um, there's this silly word called poof, a poof. Let me just see if I can find a poof uh, on Google for you. Uh, but it, I use it as a footstool. I also use it to put my um, laptop on. <laughs> so here we have, I'm trying to find something that looks a little bit like my poof. Um, okay. It's more of a, mine's more of a cube. Okay, so here's the sort of thing, my poof. It's more like that, but it's actually got a lid and it's got stuff inside it. So I can put books inside it and papers and things that I, well, especially if somebody comes around, suddenly I'll open it up. I'll throw everything inside it, close the lid. Nobody knows I'm messy. <laughs> but that's a poof, P-O-U-F. Although I saw, I've seen it written P-O-U-F-F-E, I'm sure, but P-O-U-F. Uh, according to Google. Yeah, poof as well. P O U double F E. A cushioned footstool or low seat with no back. So I'm not sure now, Shiny, whether you've got um, two footstools or two poofs. <laughs> I need to see a photograph of your footstools and I'll decide whether they're footstools or poofs. Um, Shiny, it does depend what kind of programs you watch and how you watch them. Is it just on in the background or do you watch them and learn something from them? You don't have a TV. Don't forget the articles. You don't have a TV, really? Gosh, but you've got the internet. A lot of people, are, it's like watches and smartphones. A lot of people are swapping their watches for smartphones and vice versa. <laughs> TVs for monitors and internet instead of TV. Made of wood, then it's probably a stool, shiny, because a poof is normally covered in material and padded. Mine is. I'll, I'll take a photo of my poof. <laughs> I love and my poof. Your, your heels will be painful. Uh, well, exactly. Yeah. yeah. You could put a cushion on. You could put a cushion on them. Before, when you put your feet on them, you could put, put a cushion on, I guess. Okay, so let's move on. The sofa, the couch, the settee. Okay, now everybody had their own um, dis, uh, decision. So sofa, couch from Muna. Okay. Um, sofa from Artsulita. Sofa and couch from Monique and a double seat sofa. Now that would be a double seated sofa, yeah? Or this is where you could say, April, a two person sofa. Ah, now here we are talking yes. about two persons, <laughs> not two people. Not two people's sofa, no, a two person sofa. I don't ask me why we suddenly go into this formal use of the word person, but we do. So, um, a two-person sofa, a double-seated sofa. Uh, we've got a double, triple. Um, so a double-seated sofa. 
Um, you could also say a two-seater sofa. Okay, it's a two-seater. So let me and, uh, do a little a bit of editing person, here. A two-person sofa, yeah, with article. Yeah? Uh, yep. Ah, always a. You're going from sofa. Okay, so uh, uh, two person sofa, two seater sofa. Okay, might look strange, but that's what they're called. Okay, a double seater sofa. And of course, of course, you've got triple, etc. sofa. Have the word Zeta in there. Um, and then now for two person so far. Now, I've fa just found one that says two seats so far. I wouldn't accept that. <laughs> or a small sofa. <laughs> Okay, and of course you've got two or three. Oh. Um, you could use the number. Okay. Oh, let me just put the um, asterisk there just to say it's matching that. But depending on the size, and we tend to look at how many people does it seat. Okay, how many people can sit in it? Okay. That is that's like in the tram, for example. Some some uh, seats, uh, it's too big for one person, but too small for two persons. <laughs> yeah, two people. <laughs> of two people. people for two yeah. people. Yeah. Well, on, this one also. <laughs> on buses, on buses, you tend to think of seats, not um yeah so how many seats and it's one one seat is meant to be that square but yes if you're sat next to somebody with a big bum quite often it's not big enough the seats aren't big enough <laughs> i hate the fold down seats on buses and trams they're awful they, they never work properly <laughs> okay so then we got on to the telephone now that was fun because Telephones have changed even from when this picture was created. And now we look at smartphones usually. But I don't know about you, but I still have this kind of telephone in my house. It doesn't have a display. Now, a display, not a monitor, okay? Because it's so small. To me, a monitor is more sort of a 15 inch, 14 inch, 12 inch monitor. And you wouldn't get that on a phone, that size. So it's a display. The actual thing you hold, 10, yeah. sorry? It's number 10, a display. Uh, yes, number nine is just, um, you could have said the handset, the receiver, the thing that you hold and the cords even, uh, because there were cords there. You've got the telephone cord. Okay, so you've got cord, phones with cords and then you have cordless phones okay uh, but yes the display I think Monique put um, monitor oh no Goka put monitor oh no. Goka put monitor no you put display somebody put monitor ah maybe I was just no I was getting it wrong I thought it was that one from Azulita okay so call a display you all got it right sorry yeah so that's a display not a monitor when I read it there I am um, on this one, I thought they put monitor for the phone. Azalita had, but no, it was number six, which is fine, which isn't for TV. Okay, so that's a display. Uh, and you could put LCD display. Does everybody know what LCD stands for? Uh, liquid crystal display. Yay! Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. <laughs> And that kind of display, again, is getting a bit old-fashioned. So, do you call the screen of a navigator a display? Yes, it is. Um, but you can also call it a screen. It's just big enough. <laughs> and, of course, on your smartphone, it's a screen. But on a phone, that kind of phone, that small little square, it's just a display. Okay. 
So you could call on the navigator and your smartphone, you can call it a screen or a display. Yeah. And but on that particular phone, because it was so teeny weeny weeny, it's the display. Okay. And on the camera, is that a photo camera, for, for example? It's a display or screen lid? Oh, that's a good one. I'm trying to think of my camera. Uh, and what do I call it? I think I call that the display. Yeah, I call it the display of the camera, uh, especially the one I've got a couple of cameras. Um, one of them's quite old, but it's got this wonderful, um, it turns, it sort of twists and turns. And that's definitely called the display. So I would say camera display, yes. Good question. Just asking Google, seeing how many hits I get. Okay, 412 million results for camera display. 234 million results for camera screen. I think, oh, and camera monitor as well. I think that's another one where it could be depending on whether you're looking at the actual, um, the whole thing, in which case it's the display. If you're looking at the glass, it might be the screen. And if you're using a video, it's a monitor. Interesting. <laughs> but in this one, it was definitely a display, okay? Then we have the headset. I hope everybody got headset. I think um, a couple of people said headphone, not a headphone. What, okay, I'll let uh, go get by with headset with Mike, yeah? <laughs> so what's the difference between a headset and a headphone? Any ideas? A headphone has no uh, has an, has not uh, no has no uh, microphone. Exactly. When you put your headphones on, there's no mic. It's just for listening. But a headset, it's like there's more to it. It's a set. Yeah. So with your headset, you get the headphones and the microphone. Okay. Well done. Yeah. That's the difference. Okay, the next one was getting easier. Uh, this was a cordless phone. Uh, now, some people said wireless. I'll accept that, but cordless is better because we talk. We tend to talk about the cord, the phone cord, especially the twisty bit. Okay, uh, on the old-fashioned phones, and honestly, I haven't seen a phone with a cord for a long time. But you can still buy them. <laughs> So when you're looking at phone cords, they tend to be, um, let me just, like this, yeah? They tend to be sort of phone cord rather than phone wires. The wires are more the sort of thing that's inside the phone. Okay. And I said handphone, Lynn. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure what you meant by that one. Okay, you put a hand phone. Hmm. I thought that I've uh, seen that word, hand phone, to, for that kind of so cordless telephone. Yeah, but it's more of a mobile phone and it's more... It's, it's, okay, it's not something we say in England. <laughs> A handphone is often used um, for a mobile phone, but not in the UK. Okay, let's look at Oxford. Here you go. This is why you've heard of it, April. So I think if you're in Malaysia and Japan and other Indonesia, maybe people call a handphone a mobile phone. And it's English, but it's a bit like a handy in German. Um, they call that a handy, a mobile phone's a handy, and it's an English word that's been used in a more German way, okay? So again, here we have in Europe, mobile phone, a handy. So an English word, but used in a different way in other countries, okay? So it's not wrong, but it's not something we'd say.
Okay. Okay. <laughs> You've gone all quiet, but I call it a handphone. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. It's fine. People would kind of know what you meant, but they might get a bit confused um, in England. If you went into a mobile phone shop and you said, I, I want a handphone, they think but all they're all for the hand. <laughs> would, you, would you ask for a foot phone? It's just not use, in use in the UK. Okay. So I'd say that that particular one, because it wasn't a mobile phone, it was a cordless phone. It was a, for the domestic line. Okay, we've still got a domestic line. A lot of people, a few years time, they'll go, what? Because nobody uses them anymore. It's all smartphones, it's all mobile phones. We won't have landlines anymore. But in the meantime, because we want the internet, we also have a landline. So we might as well have a couple of, um, phones, but they're handheld phones, they're cordless phones. I haven't had a cord on a phone for years. <laughs> I can remember you could only walk to get, you know, if you had to get a pencil, you'd stretch the cord. <laughs> so then, is that handheld phone? Handheld phone, yes. It's correct. Uh, hand, you can not say it's handheld, 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 handheld. Yeah. Okay. not hand phone, no, handheld. Okay, handheld computer, handheld devices. Okay, it's more like a PDA, but yes, handheld as in you hold it in your hand. A handheld phone, a handheld computer, a digital device. It's small enough to be held, but no, not hand phone. Okay, so handheld phone, I would have accepted. Would you like me to write that in so that you can feel comfortable? Okay, uh, where is it? Uh -oh. There you go. <laughs> okay, so then the keypad, everybody got that correct. Uh, phone keyboard, ah, no, Muna, keypad. When it's a keyboard, when it's big in front of your computer, uh, you have a keyboard, otherwise it's a keypad. And a lot of um, devices, smaller electronic, handheld electronic devices have a keypad. Okay, rather than the keyboard. Keyboard kind of indicates it's separate to the device. So for example, my keyboard is attached with a cord to my computer. Uh, it's a separate keyboard. But on my phone, I have a keypad because it's part of the device. Okay. But uh, uh, if the, uh, you talk about the numbers on the telephone number, how many number is that, Lynn? 14? Is that also a keypad? With the, the receiver. Yeah. On the phone. On the phone, yeah. On the is phone. that also yeah, a keypad? keypad? Yeah, because it's part of the device. It's it's not it's only got numbers for starters. Yeah. So um I don't know if you've got a large keyboard on your computer, but if you look at it, we've got the keys for the um, letters, that's part of the keyboard. We've got the function keys at the top, part of the keyboard. At the side, on the larger keyboards, you've got numbers. We call that the number pad, because that's that little area with just the numbers on it. So that's the number oh, we pad. We call it numeric pad. keypad. Numeric keypad, no? I call it the number pad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and okay. and so this, Google. it'll do. This it'll do. Telephone. Google agrees with me. <laughs> uh, this telephone has a keypad, but uh, the the old one has a dial a dialer. Yes, dialer. yeah. But and and sometimes people say we still use the word, the verb to dial. Uh, we don't say to pad. You know, can you pad your granny? No, <laughs> we dial uh, the phone. Call your granny. Um, had her number now you dial the number because of the old-fashioned keyboard um old-fashioned phone okay let me just see if i can find an old one because i bet you shiny's never even seen one um i'm going to try and find the one i had when i was growing up so you can try and figure out how old i am <laughs> okay the one i grew up with was very like this but cream okay bakelite cord and the dial yeah, and you would dial the number. <laughs> but I have never known what uh, the function of the letters there, Lynn. You can't. It's put an the American letter. thing. No, oh. but some people do. It was an American thing. 
and people would we we also I also used to have one like this um hang on this one which is an old phone system oh my I god that's, uh, that's complicated <laughs> yeah yeah you could put people through to because um put people through to extensions that's, that was when I was working in hotels there was phones like that and there was that little chin rest that was to rest on your shoulder so you could carry on working whilst it was resting on your shoulder very high tech that <laughs> But I'm not as old as this one. Uh, yeah, I'm not as old as that one. <laughs> oh, dear. But that was uh, a good one, a beautiful one. Oh, the they're lovely. You can get them edition. now. Yeah, you can buy them now. The antique ones. It's an yeah, antique, the antique one. And you can have them now, but they've been refurbished to work on... Uh, the modern phone system. You never knew there was another colour. Oh, yeah, they came in red and black and Bakelite brown, which was disgusting, cream, yellow, all sorts of different colours, um, probably depending on how much money you had, shiny. Only plastic. Of course, they're going to make them into multicolours. Okay, and then the base or the housing of the phone. Now, it might sound strange, the housing, but we I know when you think of housing, you probably think of lots of houses for people to live in. Uh, but this is the, the place it goes to. It's a rigid case, okay? And you can have housing for lots of different equipment, okay? So housing can mean housing stock, as in lots of houses, but it can also mean for equipment, you can have an electrical housing box for your um, a housing box to put your uh, what do you call it yeah it's the housing for your I can't remember the word fuses your fuse box it has a housing yeah to protect the delicate equipment and also from little fingers Okay, so this could be described as here. Okay, so you've got the fuse box. Okay, you've got the wires. These are wires, not cords. Okay, and then you've got the housing, which is what protects it all. Okay. And that's why at the end, the last picture was the base, where you put the handheld phone on, where you put the... Um, the handset on and also you could call it the housing because it's the bit that protects it that keeps it in one place okay shiny is a little bit surprised <laughs> ah, well have you looked at mobile phones i mean people as soon as we've got something we want it to be more like us so um you can get lots of different phone colours, honestly. Mine was, uh, I had the uh, black one and then the more modern was the grey green. So it is, how do you say it? Uh, uh, pistachio Revolting. green, <laughs> like pistachio green, not that yellow. <laughs> yeah, not that yellow. okay. So of, you... uh, more green than yellow. I mean... Yeah, there's a yellow one, a red one, a blue one. Uh, it sounds like April might have had this sort of colour, maybe, April? Yeah, but a more grey. More gray. More gray. <laughs> it's, it's too much blue. <laughs> it's too blue, okay. Uh, the things you learn in these sessions, hey? So what colour did you have as a child, Shiny? Just that sort of cream colour. This actually, this is more like the one we had at home. That one, that cream. That was the colour we had, this sort of cream colour. And it, and it looked very similar to this um, with the dial 999, 100 for the operator. <laughs> Takes me That's back. It's easy to lock like, uh, with dialer, uh, with the 
push button is not uh, possible to lock it with uh, with a lock, eh? with a physical lock. Oh, that's right. Yes, my mum yeah. had a lock on our phone on the dial. Um, let's see if this one with the dial lock it shows. I, I can't believe now, even when I think about it now, that my mum used a phone lock on us. <laughs> But, uh, she did. <laughs> it us one little bit and she put a phone lock on ah i can't see any i should have taken a phone a photo of it just to prove to people that my mum used to lock the phone from us it was just it was just a little um just a little disc you know a little, a little sort of barrel that went into the number so you could phone um, you could dial 999, but that was it. You could only ever dial the police. So I guess she had our safety. Um, she was being safety conscious as well. But no, I can't for the life of me find a dial lock uh, for any phone. But you knew what I meant, yes? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You only saw black ones everywhere. Yeah, that's interesting. Maybe it was just a British thing. Um, but yeah, black was standard. Black was standard and cream. Cream was standard as well. The problem with the cream ones was they got really mucky. You had to keep them clean because people's little grubby fingers all over them. <laughs> Okay, so we'll leave it at that then. I hope that was interesting. And um, next week we will look at probably this week's, as I say, the physiotherapy one I think was worth doing, but because only one person took part, I think it was a bit tough. So, um, and don't forget, you can go in and just say, oh, this one's too tough. You know, give me some feedback because I'll just keep putting these things up and hoping you get something out of it. But uh, we'll, we'll try and do the physiotherapy in uh, the health sessions I'm planning for Friday's vocabulary session, April. Um, because yeah, it, it looks to me like a gymnastic room or a physiotherapy room. So I wasn't uh, so sure. I, I think I put yeah, the Yeah, treatment room or physiotherapy uh, room. A or health gym. room. You wouldn't call it a gymnastic I, room, though. Gymnastic. Or a health room. Health room. Sport. Not a health room either. No. I found that word Medical on center. Google, Google Center. Google no, Not I would, I my dictionary. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. No, I wouldn't call it a health room. I'd call it, um, uh, it could be part of a health center. It could be a physiotherapy room, could be a treatment room, could be a gym, uh, but not a gymnastic room gymnastics is a sport and if you're having physiotherapy that might be as a result of doing gymnastics but you're probably not allowed to do gymnastics for a while <laughs> but we'll discuss all that in the sessions uh, which we'll do after we finish the factory stuff okay so I'm planning that because um, Traum's also requested that one as well she's asked for that to be part of the session uh, in the future so we're going to do a whole health, a little bit like the doctor's surgery, but hospitals and dentists included. Okay. So it should be, it would be in June at uh, uh, the soonest, the soonest it will be held on in June. I would think I so. Think. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because it's a lot to do. <laughs> Okay, you take care then. Thank you for coming. Thanks, Shiny. And yes, if you check the um, the recording, you should be able to get the recording, the replay. You'll, you'll catch up on what you missed, okay? <laughs> take care then. Thanks for taking part. Bye. Thank you, Thank April. Bye-bye. You, Good morning. I hope you can hear me. It's Lynn here from the Learn English Network and it's live chat. It's Monday. Of course, last week there was no live chat. It was May Day, May Day, May Day. Uh, and I was busy having fun. Uh, but today we're back <laughs> with a vengeance. So I hope you can hear me. Hello, April. Hello, Shiny. Number two. <laughs> number three. Are you not counting me again? You're number three.
I'm not sure what you mean by start again. Ah, uh, two, two, two. Hmm. One, 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 then two, two, two. Not sure what's going on there. Uh, my, yep, my microphone is definitely working. So you missed the opening speech. Oh, it's only me going blah, blah. Don't worry. <laughs> Watch the replay. <laughs> okay. So yes, we're starting on time in live chat um, because we've got a lot to do. Okay. So it's okay. You can hear me now. Good, good, good. Okay. Um, shiny, me neither, April. So I missed the opening speech. Me too, April. Sorry, because you're agreeing with April. She missed it. You missed it too. I didn't miss it. I didn't miss it either. Me neither. Go by feel. What comes after it? Okay, so let's have a look at the article. And if you see, it seems. Now it could be IT seems. But then it's got that. IT seems that more and more Brits are receiving parking fines. So you, you have to let your brain kick in. I think that makes no sense. It must be it seems. And I've, I've left it large. Sometimes I go in and correct it. Not correct it, but change it. But I left it because we'd had this discussion on um, live chat about this particular issue. Okay. And... Um, Interestingly, Muna read it the first time with it and then lost her confidence and changed it to IT. So that's a shame, Muna. Go with your gut feeling sometimes. It's often more correct than your brain. <laughs> Our brains overthink things. Case in point, why do we talk about why are headaches countable on the forum? There's a discussion going on about why are headaches countable. It's a great question, but they are. I've got a headache. A uh, article, it's accountable. Okay. Why? I don't know. Somebody decided they got a lot of, a lot of headaches. <laughs> okay. So, um, we also had a conversation by Zaki after how long can I learn English as my own language? I, my reply was my usual one. How long is a piece of string? By the way, you owe me a dollar. Now that's because a long time, a long time ago, I said, if I had a dollar for every time somebody asked, um, and then we'll see. And I'll tell you whether you're making progress or not. Most people here make progress, even if they don't think they are making progress. They are, they just don't believe it. They have issues of, everybody's got different issues. Uh, some people are more confident. They think their English is fantastic when it isn't. Other people are less confident. They think their English is terrible when it isn't. So, you know, it's about the individual. There's no formula. And as, uh, as um said, there are YouTube videos that say stuff like learn English in seven days, but I think they're cunning. Actually, I think they're conning you. <laughs> Maybe they're being cunning. They want clicks. They want people to watch them. Sometimes they give a bit of good advice. It's normally be active, be active, be active. Do, don't just consume. But Zaki, it's up to you. If you don't like my sense of humor, probably you better keep away from the network. <laughs> Okay. Any questions? Hello, Reem. Nice to see you. Hi. Reem's calling me Linny. I like it. <laughs> What's your name? My name's Linny. Okay. Lynn is always impatient to start talking. Absolutely, April. Um, so, which one is better? Which one is what better, April? Uh, which one is better? I didn't know that, did you, Shiny? Shiny probably doesn't know what you didn't know. So when, when you're chatting in um, the chat area, in the attendees area, try, try and make it clear. <laughs> this question, I'd be very, very rich. So if you've ever asked me that question, send me the dollar or a euro or a pound, not fussy. Um, okay. Answer the question by another question. I really dislike this policy and I owe you a dollar. What do you mean? Zaki, I mean, you need to get a sense of humor. 
I also replied, I'll take euros. And I put him onto the fax page when I first said this. Um, Zom said, personally, I love, personally, you need two L's, one N, Zom. I love, get rid of it, answering a question with another question. We even made it a game on the forum. If Lynn, aka your teacher, had received one dollar every time someone asked her this same question, she would be a billionaire. Um, of course, said Zaki. Actually, this is a kind of fudging. Okay, this is fudging. If you can say this is fudging, you know, your English is doing all right, Zaki. And um, I actually misspelled something here. So let me just, before April spots it for me. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so, Zaki, I wasn't expecting such an answer. A solution for fast learning. Well, there are loads of tips. Look, if you go up here, improve. Loads of tips on how to improve your learning, how to speed it up a bit. Generally, you speed it up by putting more time aside for doing it. Do, do, do. Read, listen, but most importantly, write and speak. It's not rocket science. And it I can't tell you how long it will take you because I don't know you. And therefore, you need to get involved with what we do. Either. Uh, there is always lag. There's always a few seconds lag in these sessions when you're in the attendee room. But don't worry. We have plenty of time. No, we don't. Let's move on. <laughs> so I hope you can see the live chat page. And actually this morning there was a little discussion, but it was about politics. So let's skip past that. <laughs> Can't ignore politics at the moment. There's so much going on in the world of politics. I worry that all the young people today will think, wow, politics, it's really popular. I think I'll be a politician. <laughs> don't do it. Okay, so we're going to look at um, Zom to Muna. Okay, so because Muna did her first news roundup recording on the network, I don't know if you've heard it, but do go along. And she did a fantastic job. But there was a little bit of uh, an issue on the way Patrick opens or starts his um, writing. Patrick is the guy who writes the news roundup, if you didn't know. Uh, he's the author. And it's his style that the first word in the news roundup articles is capitalized, the whole word. Okay, that's just, it's not something you do normally unless you're writing for a magazine. The English magazine is an online magazine. Um, or if you're writing for newspapers, some newspapers do it. It's style. So what happened was this particular um, article started with it, but Moona read it as IT. Okay. Now that is something you have to just 